Yeah, so here we've got the typical uh, Essex uh, seawall construction, you know, the, uh, the aptly named Essex blocks um, placed on clay and sealed with bitumen uh, grout. Um, you see here, quite a sheltered part of the estuary. The blocks have probably been down here, you know, 30 years or so and still in very good condition. Got some vegetation in it, um, but overall the, uh, the integrity of the revetment is still there. Difference of the area that we've uh, applied the open stone asphalt to is the vegetation's got, uh, got through and pushed the blocks out and the waves have got behind the blocks and started to damage and cause, uh, cause scour and erosion. So this is it, the start of the 2019 works and uh, interestingly we've got, uh, we're starting against uh, an example of the same, similar, very similar construction uh, completed in 2019. Doesn't look too bad does it after uh, 30 years? As a construction material, concrete blocks, there's nothing particularly wrong with them. Um, I think the weakness of them is the joints and when the joints go, as soon as one block comes out, the whole revetment uh, unravels fairly quickly. Um, and obviously the maintenance of the joints, there's so many of them that it's, uh, it's almost impossible to keep on top of it. But also concrete blocks are quite a smooth top surface and uh, that means the wave energy is not really absorbed and it's just transferred into wave run up. And of course the more wave run up the higher the chances of the seawall being overtopped and then you've got the vulnerable uh, inner section of the seawall. Um, so open stone asphalt is a porous material, um, it absorbs a significant amount of wave energy and that reduces the, uh, the wave run up. But also the installation of the open stone asphalt is a lot simpler than the concrete block construction. For concrete blocks you need perfect formation on which to place the blocks. You have to import clay, you have to compact that clay, you have to then trim it, uh, you have to place the blocks and you have to seal the blocks all within a tidal window. And that's quite a difficult task to get all that work done in what is basically a four to five hour working period. As a comparison with the lean sand asphalt and open sand asphalt, we can literally remove the existing Essex blocks and then we do a rough profile of the clay formation and any voids can be filled using lean sand asphalt and then the filter layer is placed 15 centimetres placed on top of the clay. Once the lean sand asphalt's in place that will protect the earthworks for several tides um, and that will give you a chance to then place the armour layer in subsequent working periods. Uh, the armour layer again is an in situ material so it's easy to place on internal radiuses, external round culverts and other concrete structures. So it's far easier, you don't need to cut blocks and so on and so forth. But also the open stone asphalt does allow plants to grow over the top of it without damaging it. The grasses and so on at the top will work their way down and the algae and the succulents associated with salt marsh and the estuary will gradually make its way up the revetment. So in time it all blends in uh, to the environment and creates a little habitat for the uh, local fauna and uh, flora. So here we are, this, um, I think the end of, uh, come to the end of a successful project in 2019 at Stansgate. Quite nice that we've actually extended a revetment that's already 30 years old and uh, we'll look forward to the next one. <laughs>